Hello, Gold Medal Plumbing. I just want to say thank you, first of all, for allowing us to send you this video. Basically, what I'm going to be going through uh, with you is uh, search engine optimization techniques. Let me just tell you, I am Joelle, and um, I'm calling from Zoe SEO and Web Design, and I love that this is a female-owned and operated business. That is awesome and powerful. Way to go. So, y'all, you're going to get me emotional. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I just I, I wanted to go through the search engine optimization techniques with you um, because as I was researching your site, I noticed that it looks as though you are definitely working on your 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 techniques with the backlinks, your um, your content, your 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 citations or listings and also your keywords. But let's just go over the the front of this right here with your um, content in the front here. Uh, with Google, you definitely want to have about 1,500 key, uh, sorry, 1,500 words of content. You want to have 1,500 words of content within this first page that will hold necessary key words that Google will be searching for when they crawl sites to see whether or not your business is the business that is needed in the moment. And so um, definitely implementing that necessary content, also having proper title tags in place. Um, I don't see any titles, uh, title tags. That will help you. Um, there's also some things in the background with the way that your pictures are saved and also just different meta descriptions those kind of things within your actual on-site optimization that can be utilized. And so um, for the off-site optimization, what I did is I took your, your website and I put it in a tool that we use called Arifs. And this kind of shows you your profile with search engine optimization. It's the backlinks, the referring domains, or the areas that your business is listed and your keywords that you're ranking for. So, um, you know, what I... What I noticed is that um, it looks like you have a great deal of backlinks. And so I thought, you know, that that's good. They're doing pretty good. But um, when I went to search um, for, let's see, plumber in Granada Hills, because that's where you are, I um, was, was not able to find you at the top. And I thought there would be like a, I thought there would be um, this would be a little less area to, to you know to to rank in. So what I do find is this map pack here, of course. And um, I, I don't know if you have a, a Google My Business. It's not coming up in the top here, but that's definitely something that can be optimized. And so we can um, take your maps listing, your Google Maps listing, and optimize that in such a way so that you can begin to rise to the top here. And then um, underneath that is the organic search results. And so um, these people have risen to the top based on their backlinks, referring domains, and their keywords. And so uh, what I did is I kind of scrolled down a little bit and I bypassed Mike Diamond. He's everywhere. I bypassed these, um, what is it called? Uh, directories, Yelp and Angie's List. Also this one, I think he's national, national. And I went to this first guy that looks like he's really trying to get to the top um, and is not some big dude. And I put him into Arif's also. Now his backlink profile, um, his referring domains, his keywords, you can see that you have a lot better, a lot higher number. Okay, so that kind of boggled me. And I was like, well, how is he doing more with organic traffic and that monthly revenue if they have more backlinks and domains? And so what I found out is that most of your backlinks are not good. And so right here, you can tell those that have given you authority are about 174. Those who have not given you authority to link back to your site are over 1,000. So over 1,000 of these backlinks right here 
are no follow backlinks and that's the problem so when you take a look at his backlinks over a thousand are do follow and that means over a thousand websites are giving him authority to have their URL within his site within their sites and so only 145 have not given him authority and so that's something that we want to take into consideration the the backlinks profile not all backlinks are considered the same and so we definitely want to find you some very strong good backlinks um, they are definitely fueled by just strong um, listings and areas that your business is listed so let's just really quickly take a look at the difference in keywords as well I see that he's ranking for 115 and you have 58 let's take a look okay so of course you're gonna rank for your um, name in the number one position let's just keep going down uh, it looks like you're mostly ranking or you mostly have your name gold metal plumbing throughout your site more than anything else I'm not seeing a lot of the word plumber or plumbers um, and it's good to have it in Granada Hills but you want to also have it in the surrounding regions you want to also have as keywords here Wow, you have a lot of your name it's mostly your name but you want to also have um, some of the services that you offer as keywords as people are going to be googling such things as how to unclog my sink and stuff like that so let's just take a look at some of his keywords he's got that word plumber out there in the front a lot of times and a lot of different areas um, not just Granada Hills but Van Nuys, Canoga Park, San Fernando Valley this is something that you would want to implement within your website drain cleaning, Burbank you know these are necessary keywords that people are actually searching and um, you know in the process if you have them within your content you'll be found for these things so this is just a quick overview of um, what search engine optimization is like and what it can do for you and so um, I just want to thank you so much gold metal plumbing and um, if you uh, would like to know more about how we can help you would love to talk more so and also I would love to if you can just give me some feedback and let me know how I am doing uh, I appreciate you so much